Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox food tutorial. Today what I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up is this shift to sprint stamina kit that I made. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. I made it easy to set up. Basically, you can see when we run, our stamina goes down, 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 down. Let's get to zero. When we get to zero, it forces us to go back to walking so that our stamina can replenish a little bit. And as you can see, the stamina works its way back up. So if we sh shift to sprint, then we let go. You can see the stamina works its way back up all the way to 100. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit the kit uh, to your guys' liking. So the first thing is when you insert the kit, I mean, when you when you download the kit and you insert it into studio, make sure you put it inside of starter UI. So it'll probably be in workspace. Go ahead and drag it down to starter UI. You'll see it pop up right here. And if you guys want to change, or let's say you guys want to edit like the uh, the actual UI, the all this stuff you need in it. I mean, you don't need it, but like, nah, you need it. You need it. But like, amount display is just like you know the amount of stamina you have. The bar is this blue thing that goes up and down when you you know shift the sprint and then the holder which is the which is the hold on which is the gray part oops which is the gray part behind it you can't see it because the bar is covering it this is the holder right here this thing right here this little uh black part so you need all that stuff you get you guys can customize it however you want let's say you wanted to make it like rounded you do like ui corner or something and then uh duplicate that put it inside there now it's rounded um you guys could put like a stroke on it so if you looked up ui stroke made it like two or three there you go now you have a ui stroke on it so you guys can customize it however you like the next thing is the handler this is basically you know what handles the actual stamina and the shift to sprint so in here you will find in the handler script you'll find stuff inside of it you'll find a value called stamina this is the max amount of stamina you can hold um which is set to 100 well not the max this is the starting amount of stamina you'll have and um yeah then you have two scripts out sprint which will be enabled and in sprint which was which will be disabled and then you have an event in here called tired so if you go into the main handler you'll see this these are all just uh values don't change any of these um, the only important things that you guys want to change, let's say you want to change the like walk, like how fast you go when you sprint, you guys can change this value right here, the first value, um, to, I have it set to 30, but you guys can set it to 40, 50, 60, whatever you want. And then I have it set back to the default speed, but if your default speed is like 10, I would set this to 10 right here and right here, these two, you would set to your default speed. And, um, yeah let's say you want it to make it so that it goes down slower right you would go to out sprint and wait to actually not out sprint. you go to in sprint and this value is how fast it goes down or up so if you set this to like 0.5 right and we hit play you'll see that it goes down a lot slower now you saw how fast it went down before now it goes down a way way slower which I think is too slow, but that's how you edit that. Um, uh, and also another thing, I would keep this, like I would always just keep in um, in the handler script, set this to whatever you have like the lowest value to. So let's say you had it so that you replenish stamina quicker than you, you know, lose it. Let's say this was set to like 0 0.05 and this was set to 0 0.2 set this to 0.05 right here this is how fast this is how, like this is how fast the uh, bar goes up and down um but anyway back to this so in sprint you would change this weight value to whatever, however fast you want you however fast you want the player to lose their stamina and then in the out sprint this you change this value to so you you would keep weight just change the value inside of it to to uh change how fast they replenish so if you set this like one second and we hit play you'll see so we sprint we lose stamina a lot very fast and then when we let go you could see how slow we regain that stamina because it's one second now so again you guys can change those values up set it to whatever you like and yeah that's basically it for the 
stamina kit. Pretty simple, not really that hard to edit. I try to make it, you know, as simple as possible to edit. Um, I'm th trying to think of anything else that I would need to go over. If you don't want the amount display, I guess the easiest way that you would do it is just by making it invisible like this and deleting the UI stroke inside of it. But um, you guys, again, you guys can customize it however you want. So that is it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding the kit or suggestions for a future video, leave them in the comments below. I love reading your comments. I have a Discord server that will be linked in the that will be linked in the description as well, so you guys can join that up. I'll be I'm fairly active on it. I check it every day, so I can answer more questions there. Um, if you guys enjoy the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's it for today's video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.